Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage. Welcome to another beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. It's it's just about like 60 degrees almost. It's getting up there. Uh, just got a little nip in the air that you need a, a sweatshirt, but yeah, uh, spring's getting here. Well, I guess it is technically here. Or I'm not exactly sure to be honest with you. Anyway, it's getting warmer out, it's getting nicer out, and we are working on the drag truck once again. So as you guys can see, I have the drag truck at the edge of the garage. I just kind of pushed it up um, because our first task today is we're gonna actually cut out our grill. So we're gonna finish cutting that out. As you guys can see, I had four holes that I had hole sawed in it just so we could try and line our intercooler up and our intercooler is sitting pretty good inside of there. Well, I was planning on doing it, you know, pulling it to the uh, edge of the garage so we can try and keep all that fiberglass from going all over the garage. Not that there's not already stuff everywhere, but I really wasn't thinking straight. Why do it there in front of the engine, get everything completely filthy, even more so than it already is, when we can remove it and just do it over in the grass? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut the grill out. Um, going to start by going just to where the intercooler is and I'll see how I like it so I'll mark it from the inside and kind of go from like here to here or whatever it is see how it looks um, I, I imagine I'll probably end up cutting the whole grill out and maybe we'll put some mesh or something on it at a later date so that's the game plan so let's get this front clip off get it over in the grass and uh, get to doing some fiberglass work <laughs> So it was a fantastic idea to do this outside, as you guys can see, all the stuff on the ground. Uh, and that's not to count what was floating in the air. I actually did even grab a dust mask, so that way I was being safe. Didn't do it the whole time, I should have, but. So anyway, with it sitting on the ground, I thought, man, this just looks really weird. Um, just having that center section of the grill cut out, and it does kinda, but, just having that intercooler, which you guys can't see because it's dark. But, I mean, let me get a light. All right, so kind of looks a little weird, like, you know, like a kid with little buck teeth or something, you know. But, yeah, throw the light on there, and that kind of changes things. That looks pretty cool, I must say. And I'm actually very surprised with all this that I cut out, how how rigid this still is, which I'm, I'm very impressed with. Now, the hard part with this, if you guys, when you saw me sand it down, there's no real good for, good firm edge on like the center of the grill and the center here, you know, the whole cross hatch. 
Now these corners here would be much easier. You just take it up to there. So it is still rough, very rough. I mean, I cleaned it up the best I could, but it definitely needs straightened up and I need to extend the one side a little bit. Yeah, I'm, now I'm just debating whether I wanna leave it or, I don't know. That does look pretty gnarly like that. I mean, we could even get some like mesh and put behind there and then paint it white or you know, if eventually if we wrap the truck, we can do whatever that color is. Put a comment down below what you think. I'm, I'm kind of digging that look. Um, it looks a little different. It'll be different than a lot of people have. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. So guys, um, after much consideration, I think I'm gonna keep it. I like that. You know, seeing the intercooler back behind there, that looks gnarly. Um, and if we if we wanna go bigger, you know, the problem is that's like half, half the grill, but if we kinda come like this, what are you gonna be seeing extra? You're gonna be seeing our bar and a bunch of empty space. Um, there's not really anything to see, and it would just be, you know, a void. So I think, I think we're gonna go with it. I'm honestly surprised. I was planning on hunting, cutting the whole thing out, but uh, yeah, I'm liking that. I'm, uh, I'm digging it. I think we're gonna go with it. The only thing is we gotta definitely clean some stuff up. So if you guys look, you can see part of the inner core tank over here. So we gotta move this line over. We gotta kind of true everything up. And then, you know, from back here, the center looks good, but you get up close and it's all sorts of rough and you know, I'm just doing it with that sander. I'll just probably sand it by hand. Like I said, there's no good hard line to go off of on this stuff. So just trying to get it to, whoa, to where it looks right. Um, but all in all, I'm happy with it. I, yeah, I think, you know what? I think I'm, I think I like it. So uh, yeah, we'll get to cleaning this thing up and try and make it everything true and make it look right. And yeah, let's call it job done. I mean. I honestly wasn't expecting to like it like this, but yeah, that looks pretty gnarly. And if we ever want to change it, we can. All right, so got everything cleaned up, squared away. I'm actually very happy with how everything turned out here. I got all the edges smoothed out. All the bars look to be pretty even. Very happy with everything. Got it widened a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. That's, that's, that's not what I was expecting to do tonight, to be honest with you. I was expecting to cut the whole thing out, but I'm glad that I decided to do this first because now it's kind of just straightened to the point air right into the intercooler no more other stuff that plus if we had you know air going through here maybe that's more drag i don't know um also debating maybe we will uh get some like mesh like wire mesh and put behind there and paint it uh white or whatever truck whatever color the truck will end up being if we get it wrapped or something but yeah i mean i'm liking it it's different i think that uh Certainly, certainly something different make us stand out. You know, we don't have some fancy grill or something like that, but we have something different. It's functional, straight and to the point. Now, when I was cleaning everything up, it was, I was using a block of wood and sandpaper to get all my lines straight. But the other part of that, I was, you know, had to take, you know, had to widen it up some and get, you know, make this smaller and all that. Well, the sandpaper wasn't doing a trick. So I got the end grinder back out. So let's see how bad the engine compartment is. Uh oh. Come on. There we go. That one popped back in. Ugh. Hands. All right. Now that we got that done, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. Uh, 
yeah, well, it's not too bad. I uh, was expecting it to be worse. So, anyway, we'll have to get that all cleaned up and all that stuff. But, yeah, it's not as dirty as I thought, that's for sure. So, yeah, we'll have to blow our intercooler out, all that. All right, guys, so that this is uh, like an unexpected result for tonight. I was expecting to cut the whole thing out. And then, you know, before we got to cutting, I was kind of like, you know what, why don't we just cut it for the intercooler? We'll see how it looks. And I like it. It's different. We have the option. We can always cut the gr whole grill out later. Doesn't matter. We have our function of the hood, you know, of the grill area. It is doing what it's supposed to, getting air through the intercooler. So I'm happy. Like I said, maybe we'll get some screen or some mesh and put behind there just to kind of, um, you know, make the whole front end come together a little more. But I think when this thing gets out in the sun, it'll look pretty sharp. You know, you're, it's kind of like just you're looking down the barrel of that beast and seeing that big inner core. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I'm sure you guys are going to debate back and forth whether you like it or not. Like I said, it's something a little different. Also, I just thought of this. Maybe we can get some bars like that grill and put in there too. Some shorter ones or something like that. I don't know. Put, put something down in the comments what you guys think we should do or if we should just leave it and let me know what you think about it. So anyway, I want to get this front clip back on and get in the shower before I get all itchy. I was planning on doing more work on the truck, but that fiberglass went everywhere and I just need to get it off of me. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please like the video, subscribe down below. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Get out in your garage, get the wrench on your truck. So a little uh, extra for you guys who stayed to the very, very end. Um, I just figured I'd show you it in the daylight. So as you can see in the daylight, it does not look as weird because, and I don't even know that the camera's doing it justice, but you can just see the inner core. Um, so yeah, much different, much better look in the daylight. I, uh, I'm definitely digging that. So comment down below what you think. Um, like I said, in the daylight, it looks a lot better. At night, it looks a little weird. And hey, maybe we can get a little uh, fancy or whatever you want to call it. We'll throw a couple LEDs in there or something. We can make that sucker glow at night. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed.